how Frank Lucas had a USP unique selling point. Disclaimer, this discussion of Frank Lucas's unique selling proposition is intended solely for educational purposes, educational and entertainment purposes. It does not condone, support or endorse any illegal or unethical activities associated with Frank Lucas or his history. Any references to his USP are made within the context of business principles and marketing strategies and should not be interpreted as an endorsement of his past actions or behaviours. We do not condone or promote illegal activities. But before we discuss Frank Lucas's unique selling proposition within the drugs trade, let's run a, through a quick example of what is a unique selling proposition. Say, for example, you're selling apples in a marketplace full of apples. What's going to happen? Well, basically, there's a huge supply. There's increased competition, lower barrier to entry, which in effect leads to price wars and a complete saturation within the market. In the market full of apples, you want to distinguish yourself from others. Examples could be, for example, your apples are locally grown, organic and hand-picked to ensure the highest quality. You could also offer a unique variety of apples that are rare and not commonly found in other stores. Another USB could be offering apple varieties that cater to specific dietary needs like slow sugar or heirloom varieties. Basically anything that sets your apples apart from the competition and gives customers a reason to choose yours over others that would be a unique selling point. Let's stop talking about apples now. That's exactly what Frank Lucas did in the drug trade. It could have just been another Harlem drug dealer competing for a territory. Instead, he was able to create his unique selling point, which is to offer a product that was much higher quality than the competition and at a price much cheaper than the competition. So let's dive into the key elements of Frank Lucas's unique selling proposition in his trade. Here's how high quality product frank made sure that the products he sold were the best quality available he got them directly from a source in asia which meant they were stronger and purer than what others were selling customers were willing to pay more for his product because they knew they were getting a much better quality product innovative smuggling techniques instead of using traditional methods of bringing narcotics into the country frank got creative he hid them in coffins of soldiers coming back from vietnam this sneaky approach helped him avoid getting caught and ensured a steady control all over the supply chain frank didn't rely on the middleman he controlled every step of the process from getting the narcotics to distributing them this meant he could ensure the quality and consistency of his product giving him a competitive edge reliability and trustworthiness even though frank lucas is operating in a legal drug trade frank built a reputation for reliability People trusted him to deliver what they wanted when they wanted it. This trustworthiness helped him retain customers and expand his business. Personal branding. Frank presented himself as a successful businessman. Despite his illegal activities, he cultivated an image of power and sophistication which attracted customers and made him stand out in a crowded drug market. Overall, Frank Lucas's unique selling proposition in the illegal drug trade was built on a combination of factors including high quality product, innovation, innovative techniques, vertical integration, reliability and branding. Despite the illicit nature of his business, he applied principles of entrepreneurship and marketing to establish himself as a dominant figure in the criminal underworld. As a result of his actions, he was able to capture and retain a huge share of the market, something he wouldn't have done had he just been a regular street dealer. As with all criminal activities, it brings huge attention of the law. Frank Lucas was eventually convicted from his prominent position in the drug trade due to a combination of factors including increased law enforcement scrutiny, his product quality was also raised eyebrows as he was able to undercut his competition with a product of higher quality, particularly the efforts led by Detective Richie Roberts. They intensified their focus on bringing down Lucas's criminal empire. Ultimately, Lucas' downfall came as a result of his overconfidence and underestimation of the law enforcement's effort against him, leading to his arrest and subsequent conviction on drug trafficking charges. Another lesson crime does not pay stay legit frank lucas's unique selling proposition provides valuable insights that can be applied to any business endeavor legal business that is guys identify your unique selling proposition just as frank lucas differentiated himself by offering a high quality product and innovative techniques businesses need to identify what makes them stand out from the competition this could be a unique product feature exceptional customer service or maybe a more efficient 
process. You need to understand your market. Lucas recognized the demand for high quality drugs and tailored his offering accordingly. Similarly, businesses must understand their target market needs, preferences and pain points to develop a unique selling proposition to resonate with customers. So basically, you need to refine, niche down your product. If the examples in this video have helped you to better understand the unique proposition, then I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bell notification and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.